In this video, I'd like to show you how to calculate a covariance in SPSS. To calculate a covariance in SPSS, what we're going to want to do is just go ahead and run a correlation and then select the appropriate option. So let me show you what I mean. We want to go to Analyze, Correlate, and then Bivariate. Now, like a correlation, a covariance is a measure of a relationship between two variables. Covariance is a little different than correlation, but it requires two variables. So let's go ahead and just calculate the covariance on all possible pairs of variables. So for example, a covariance between SAT and social support, that would be our first one. So move these variables over, and then we want to go ahead and select options. And then here I'm going to go ahead and select means and standard deviations and cross product deviations, and notice this here, covariances. So this is where the covariances will come out by selecting this option. Go ahead and click Continue, and then OK. And here we get our means and standard deviations. And then in this next table, we can see our, it says correlations because we ran the correlation procedure. But notice here, covariance. So these are our covariances. And what we want to do is we want to look to see where two different variables meet or intersect. So for example, this 306.64 is the covariance for social support and SAT. That's the covariance between those two. This value here, 73.72, is the covariance between college GPA and SAT. And then finally, the 2.166 is the covariance between college GPA and social support. Now, if you look at these three values, you, you can see something very quickly. The covariances can differ quite a bit between different variables. Whereas correlations are a little easier to understand because they range from negative 1 to positive 1. Here we see a correlation of 0.18 between social support and SAT, and then 0.65 with college GPA and SAT, and then finally about 0.41 between college GPA and social support. But the covariance, unlike correlation, really these values can differ by quite a bit. And you can see here, in fact, they do in this example. And this is one of the reasons why covariances can be confusing to people. It's kind of hard to get a handle on them at first. But if we look at the formula for covariance, it really, I think, becomes much more manageable. So the formula for the covariance is the covariance between two variables, we'll just call it x and y, is equal to the correlation between x and y times the standard deviation of each variable. So let me show you what I mean here. And to be precise, I'm going to click on this value here, see exactly what the correlation is. So recall that the covariance is equal to the correlation, so I'm going to put this in the calculator, 0.649635. Times the standard deviation of each variable. So this is college GPA and SAT. So the standard deviation for college GPA is 0.58925. So I'll multiply this by 0.58925 times the standard deviation for SAT, which is 192, and I'll round this to 0.57. So times 192.57. Now that might have seemed like a lot of values here, but once again, it's just the covariance is equal to the correlation times the standard deviation of each variable. So we'll click equals, and notice I get here 73.715. Well, that was between college GPA and SAT, and if I look here, I can see exactly 73.715. So that's where this comes from. The covariance is very closely related to the correlation. Once again, it's the correlation times the standard deviation of each variable. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.